believe me and Radius are actually having a baby girl. I've always wanted a girl. Oh, this is gonna be the most amazing experience of my life. Hey, my dear. Hey, Radius. I wanted to tell you something. Oh, really? What is it? So, the Royal Council called, and they want me to be at a meeting immediately. What? But you just got back from one! Yeah, I know, but you know how it is. Duty calls. Oh, of course. You're the king of Solaria, after all. Oh, I just really wish we could spend more time together. Well, they told me that this is gonna be the last meeting for a few months. So, when I get back, we're gonna have all the time in the world. <sighs> well, how's our baby girl? Oh, she's just fine. We still haven't picked out a name for her yet. Ugh, <sighs> I know. We'll figure that out soon enough. Yeah, I hope so. Well, I have to go. <coughs> Take care of her for me, okay? Always. See you. <sighs> <sighs> Ow! Ugh, I pricked my finger again. Wow, the blood with the snow, it looks so pretty. Oh, I would love to have a daughter with the skin as white as snow. And with the lips red as the blood. Oh, and with eyes as bright as the stars. What? Angelina is having another party? It's the fourth time this week, and it's Wednesday. Oh, I really have to go. She's like the most popular girl in school. I don't know why I'm not, because I'm literally the Princess of Solaria, but whatever. Oh, but my parents will never let me go. Like, they didn't let me go yesterday as well. <sighs> Still can't believe she had two parties in one day. All right, so the only way for me to get to that party is to sneak out. Oh, but the guards will never let me. I just said I'm gonna sneak out. What What am I talking about? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go. Hmm. Oh, right. This is gonna be a cakewalk. Uh, not even I believe that. Hmm. Hi, guys. A uh, Princess of Solaria, stop right there. Oh, what's wrong, Simon? You are not allowed outside of the castle without permission. Oh, my parents told me to meet them in the garden. Yeah. But they would have told us about that. Eh, I guess they just forgot. Okay then, run along. Yes, I fooled him. Almost too easy. Almost. Oh, wow. They're at work. <laughs> I'm just going to the garden. Do not mind me. Okay. One last gate. Cakewalk, right? Where are you going? Oh, well, um, my parents allowed me to go outside of the castle because I want to go shopping. You are not allowed to do that. Well, my parents said, well, your parents have to speak to us first. Well, they probably just forgot. They would never forget. Your safety is always first. <sighs> Where are you going? Right, so Angelina is having another party and I really want to go. Uh, Oh, we can't let you go. Well, then I really have to go to the hospital because I really badly have a splinter. Look, it's bleeding. No, you're not a What? Party pooper. Well, hmm, I guess I'm just gonna go back home. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna make a run for it. <sighs> ah! Oh, you just locked the gates. Indeed. Let's me go no uh, yeah. <gasps> wow princess stella your will must have unlocked a new power whoa all over the fact that you wouldn't let me go to that party guess so whoa so can i go now absolutely not oh man what my pregnancy test is positive hey honey i'm back why do you look so distressed 
the pregnancy test, it was positive. We're gonna have a child. But how will we ever manage to have a child? We have no money, no home. We can barely have any food. How are we gonna feed another being? No. Oh, well, I guess we're just gonna have to endure. <laughs> I just don't want to give birth to a child if I can't provide for them. Lydia, we're gonna sort everything out. Don't worry. I don't... <laughs> well, the only thing of value we have are my rings and my bracelet. We could sell them and, I don't know, do something with the money. Are you sure? Those jewels were given to you by your mother. I'm sure. We're gonna have to take care of this baby somehow. Hmm. <laughs> She's crying non-stop. How are we ever gonna manage to do this for the rest of our lives? You know what? Don't even worry. I'm gonna go and talk to the king. Yeah, you should. He might be able to help us in one way or another. All right then, I'm gonna try talking to the king. Let's hope this goes well. What's your desire, peasant? My king, me and my wife have no money to even put food on the table and we're really trying to take care of a child. I was wondering if maybe I could get an advance or something. Any help would be very much appreciated. Oh, you're just another beggar, huh? Leave my palace at once. Stupid beggars like you don't need to waste my time. <sighs> How did it go? Oh, he kicked me out and called me a peasant. Oh, we have no money, and my job is literally taking advantage of me. I don't know what else to do. Oh, I always knew that king was a total scumbag. In any case, I'm gonna need another job. Oh, right. Hello, my comrades. I see that you are all very angry, but anger does not solve anything. <laughs> I am your king, and you shall bow down to me. <sighs> I'm aware you're all very on edge and very revolted because of this war against the people of Heraklion, but they were the ones who shook the fist first. My king, people are trying to enter the castle. What? Lydia, some people broke into the palace and killed the king. What? Well, if he's dead, then what about the war against Arachleon? Duh, uh, I'm not sure. Wow, Cryos, I can't believe that after all these years of living on the street, we finally found a home. All right, you two. I'm just gonna go to the supermarket. I'll be right back. Lydia, take Tecna into the bunker. I will. Okay, be safe. Oh, I can't believe that after all these years, this war is still going on. <sighs> okay, Tecna. So I want you to go and change into another outfit. After that, we're gonna go into the bunker. You know the drill. Oh, this totally sucks. <sighs> the great dragon will protect us. Mom, what's going on? It'll be fine, Tecna, don't worry. Mom, what's going on? No, look, the girl is still alive. Well, if we're gonna want to save her life, then she's gonna have to become half robot. So she's gonna be half robot, but she won't know it. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna perform this procedure on you. But I need you to trust me completely. Oh, here I go. Oh, I can't believe I just operated someone. And it was successful as well. My parents are gonna be so proud of me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
Uh, hey, I just saw you dancing and I thought you looked pretty good. Oh, wow, thank you. That's so nice. Yeah. Oh, I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Tara. Oh, I'm a Aisha. You're the princess of Andros. I know all about you. Do you maybe want to dance together? I would love that. Oh, wow, great. <laughs> Aisha, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Queen of Andros. Aisha, could you get back home? Bye. <sighs> Mom, I don't get why you're making such a big fuss out of all of this. Because you were dancing with a stranger. I don't mind the stranger part since you were definitely the same age. But you are not allowed to dance with somebody else. Dancing is sacred, Aisha. Andros' tradition is to not dance with anyone else, only by yourself. But mom, where's the fun in that? I want to dance with others as well. This tradition is not that good. You know what else won't be good? The fact that you'll be grounded. <sighs> is true? Unless it's a prank. I have to check. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. <gasps> Help! It's the squid! <gasps> Tara? Whoa! Okay, this squid's angry. Alright. I have a little bit of power. <laughs> now I'm gonna get you out of there. Wow, thank you so much, Aisha. <sighs> You're welcome. You should definitely get home now. Okay, thank you so much. Huh? <laughs> Sorry to inform you, but you have been diagnosed with a very deadly illness. The illness being Mercury. What? But... I'm afraid there's nothing else I can do, ma'am. You don't have much time left, ma'am. Instead of being hooked up to wires in a cold hospital, I suggest you go home and spend time with loved ones. No. <laughs> we'll go home now. Thank you very much. What are we gonna tell Musa? I don't know, Encore. I don't even know how she'd take it. I don't want you to go. Oh, this stupid illness. It's fine. <sighs> you don't need to worry about me. I've lived my life. You're gonna have to continue without me. I'll be okay, and I'll be watching you from the heavens. Juanine, don't say that. You're not gonna go. We'll figure something out. You know what the doctor said. There's no cure. It's fine, Encore. Really. <sighs> Let's go home now. Hey, Musa. Mom, Dad. Why were you gone for so long? What happened at the hospital? Oh, nothing. Mom, I'm 10. I'm old enough to handle whatever happened at the hospital. So tell me, please. Your mom was diagnosed with a super rare illness. There's no cure. She's gonna leave us soon. Wh what? You're gonna go? Yes. I do not want you to shed a single tear. But... 
I'll be okay, Musa. Please do not worry. The wails of Melody will hold on to my voice forever. But, but that's not fair. Why do you have to go early? <sighs> uh, well, I have a show tomorrow, so I better rest. <sighs> Before I start this song, I just wanted to tell you all something. I was recently diagnosed with a very deadly illness with no cure. I don't know how many days I have left to live. So this might be my last show. And I want this final show to be the most magical ever. <gasps> I am very sorry, but after a few tests, I have determined that you only have one day left to live. I am very sorry for all the pain. <gasps> no, but that's not fair. <laughs> There's one last thing I want to do before I go. I want to see the Wales of Melody again. flowers all alone all by myself i mean i don't mind it because i love flowers but still it would be fun to have someone else here as well once in a while at least <sighs> hi uh hello i'm adagio and i just um saw you playing around alone and i decided to like maybe ask you if i could like join in or something oh yeah um i'm flora by the way and i'm 15 years old Whoa, same. What school do you go to? I go to Southside High School. <gasps> Me too. Wanna be friends? Of course. Wow, Adagio. From the way you describe this girl, she seems so boring. I know. She thinks we're still friends when I'm trying so hard to avoid her. Oh, here she comes. Hey, Adagio. Wanna hang out after school? Oh my god. You're so oblivious. Can't you tell that Adagio doesn't like you? Leave her alone and stop inviting her to all these lame dub hangouts or whatever. What? You don't want to be my friend anymore? <laughs> no. Get lost! I can't believe how mean she was. Oh, don't worry, girls. I'll make sure she doesn't bother me ever again. <sighs> these flowers are so pretty. Hello there, flower girl. Huh? Yeah. Whoa. Who are you? I'm Adagio. Huh? Oh no. Uh, yes. Duh. Stupid fairy. What's happening? Wow, this new volume of the Mythical Guardians is amazing! Ardentia is definitely my favorite character ever! Ugh, this is so good! <gasps> um, what was that? Yes! Shining Star! <sighs> Won't you ever admit defeat? Leave me alone, you stupid, unfashionable witch! Is that an- is- is she an actual fairy? And is that a witch? And they're both flying. Oh my god, this is real. Okay, maybe I can help. Yes! Yeah. 
Ugh, finally. Hey, leave her alone. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna... Uh, uh, she's right. What the hell am I gonna do? <laughs> yes! Duh, no! <sighs> Duh. What? Oh, well, he won't be as lucky this time. Uh-oh, I am so done for. Uh, yes! <sighs> oh, you know what? I'm done with this. <sighs> <sighs> Whoa, what just happened? <gasps> you gained your fairy powers. You know, there's a school for fairies. It's in another dimension. It's called Althea. Whoa, you're gonna have to talk to my parents about that. Lead me to your home. <laughs>